Words can't really describe how I felt when I first heard snake jazz. It was lightning in a bottle. Elder, Elder pulled it off. He, um, he did the impossible. What you're hearing is a snake who is so used to that snake life, which is so gritty and just like, hey man, what if that forked tongue was for, was for chilling? Snake jazz is the best jazz in the galaxy. Play snake jazz. So snake jazz is jazzy. I wouldn't call it jazz. <laughs> I'm Ryan Elder. I'm the composer for Rick and Morty, and I am responsible for snake jazz. You know. I got sort of a temp reference track, which is really just someone going tss, tss, Morty, Morty, tss. you hear that? Listen. Then at that point, I sort of recreated that tss, tss, tss sound using the sounds of actual snakes. Cobra. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is totally great. We can use this for sure. Looks like it's about 140 BPM. I wanna to try to add that bull snake sound in just on the fly here. Cool, yeah, so that has like a nice kind of an ending sound there. And I could actually use that throughout to give it a little extra snake uh, snakeness. Um, <laughs> Another thing I want to do is I have, I want to add reverb to it, which is just like an echo kind of, so it sounds like they're all hissing and, <laughs> and rattling in the same room like they're a band on stage or something. So. There's a reason why snake jazz is so infectious. I've only listened to snake jazz since, and I think that everybody in the world is gonna be talking about it when they finally hear it. Elder, Elder pulled it off, and you know, it's really impressive to see that kind of dedication and hard work. It just takes courage. That's the only thing I can think of. That's the only word I can think of is courage. Remember that show Courage, The Cowardly Dog?